everyone, thanks so much for joining me. My name is Helen, this is the Shrimpy McGee channel. Today we're gonna be talking about shampoo and conditioner, in particular Viviscal shampoo and conditioner. This is not a sponsored video, but I was kindly sent some Viviscal shampoo and conditioner to try, and also, this is gonna be my first giveaway, yay! Uh, but I will have you know that it is only open to Canadians, so if you know who this guy is, and he's your prime minister, and you know what this stuff is, this food is, then guess what, you're in luck. This giveaway is for you. Feel free to go on ahead to the very end and you can get more details there. And for the rest of you who are in the United States, sorry, this, this giveaway isn't for you, but I do hope you'll just watch along with me and see me test out this shampoo and conditioner and give you my honest first impressions on it. And so I was sent this lovely box, which I've already cracked open, and a lovely card from the PR team. Uh, very excited for you to try out both the Viviscal shampoo and conditioner. Let us know what you think. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. So. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna wash my hair tomorrow because despite my hair looking messy and feeling like straw, I'm not gonna wash it tonight. I'm gonna wait until tomorrow and I can give you an impression of how the shampoo and how the conditioner work. But in the meantime, ooh, look at this pretty magenta paper. What a pretty shade. I love this color of pink. In the meantime, I'm just gonna give you my first impressions of the Gorgeous Growth Viviscal Densifying Shampoo. So here's that, and then here's the gorgeous growth densifying conditioner. So there's that, and uh, you can get this at Sharper's Drug Mart, but it's also available through the viviscal.ca website, so I'll be sure to link up to that down in the description box where I'll also keep the giveaway information, so for those of you who do qualify to enter, I hope you'll do so. Let's see, uh, it says gently cleanses, leaving hair looking naturally thicker and fuller, so that's the densifying shampoo, and the conditioner says weightless conditioner, and that's really important for those of you who've ever used conditioner, that is meant for uh, helping your hair look a bit fuller. If it's too heavy, it will just like make your hair droop and then that looks terrible, so the fact that it says weightless, I'm really hopeful about that. Weightless conditioning for thicker, fuller looking hair. So these are just nice size bottles. You know, there's not too, too much to say about them. They're both the same size. If you ever notice, sometimes shampoo and conditioner come in different sizes. And I'm thinking of, I think, Redken. I think the conditioner and the shampoo, the conditioner, I think, is a, in a smaller bottle than the shampoo. I could be wrong. But uh, now and again, you'll see that the conditioner is in a smaller bottle, which is kind of weird. Some people use more conditioner. I don't. I mean, I use more shampoo than conditioner, but some people are kind of the other way around. So let's see. Complex Anatel, or sorry, Anatel Complex. Blended with biotin, keratin, zinc to promote healthy looking hair. So that's what the shampoo says. And it says Anatel Complex, which looks like a trademark ingredient also on the conditioner, blended with biotin, keratin, and zinc to promote healthy looking hair. Okay, so uh, fragrance for me is very important. We're gonna have a sniff test of these two. They retail for, in Canada, $19.99 each, and my guess is that they'll be less expensive in the United States. I'm sure you guys will tell me in the comments. So I have heard before that the way a shampoo and conditioner smells is how people ch mostly choose it, and uh, I think that there's probably something to that. I definitely love a nice smelling shampoo and conditioner, and if they don't smell good, generally I won't use them. So, um, okay, so let's see what this smells like. It smells nice, it smells, it doesn't smell at all floral. I'll be honest, I can't exactly tell because it's something that I think once you shampoo it and then you smell it, it, it you'll get a better sense. But I'm liking what I'm smelling. It smells, it smells kind of like an upmarket shampoo. And I know that sounds weird, but I find that a real turn off for me sometimes with drugstore shampoos is I don't like the way they smell. I find them too strong and that didn't smell too strong and had a nice sort of almost a unisex um, scent. And so that's another thing I don't like. I don't like it when things are too feminine. I mean, what is fe what is a feminine scent? I don't know. But too, you know, florally or sometimes like fake fruit. I don't really like those scents. So that smelled really good. That was the shampoo. And so let's have a whiff of the conditioner. Oh, that smells really nice too. It almost, it almost smells like I also want to say it almost smells like a man's cologne. It's definitely got like those deeper elements. I like it. I like them both. I'm really keen to try these out now. Okay, so stay tuned. And uh, the next time you see me, I'll have washed my hair with them. And so I, I will not bring you into the shower with me because nobody wants to see that. Uh, <laughs> but I'll show you uh, what my first impressions are after I've showered. And so that's coming up next. Hey everyone, okay, so it's the next morning. I've washed my hair. Yesterday I was serving some Serious peppermint patty realness. Do you guys know peppermint patty? I was thinking, who do I remind myself of? 
And it came to me in the shower, peppermint patty. Uh, okay, so my hair is all washed today, so I will give you my impressions. I just wanna hop on while my hair is still wet. Actually, let's take it out of this little wrap, this little turban thing. And I wanna give you my impressions of the shampoo just before I, I forget, because if I let it go too long, I'm gonna forget. Uh, so I used the shampoo and the conditioner. Uh, and so, like I said, I, I gave them the sniff test, and so they smell nice on as well. They smell really high-end. I'm actually pretty surprised for the price point of these. They smell great. They smell like um, a Kerastase product that I used to use, which was double the price of the shampoo. So I love a nice smelling shampoo, and these definitely fit the bill. So yes, it gets the scent check mark from me, and I mean, I can smell it now, and I don't—I won't know completely until it complete, until my hair air dries whether it's really strong or not. But I want to say that if you're a guy and you're watching this, and sometimes guys I know want don't want those like really sort of um, girly smelling shampoos. This is not one of them. It definitely smells very very unisex, like I said before, and that held true when I washed up with it. This beautiful, beautiful scent. The textures are really nice. The shampoo is completely clear. So it's a clear shampoo. I double washed with the shampoo because my hair was pretty dirty. And then I used a pretty decent amount of the conditioner too. It is very lightweight, like it says. The conditioner is white and quite soft in your hand. One thing I will say though is the shampoo is drying. And I say that because I can feel it a bit on my face and sort of like on my shoulders and stuff like that, just anywhere where the suds might have gone on. And that's so far as I can tell, really normal for these sort of any kind of thickening and densifying shampoo. Definitely the ones I've used in the past have been a bit on the drying side as well, and I have absolutely no problem with that. To be honest, just use moisturizer straight after the shower. I mean, that's a good practice anyway, but just use one of your heavier moisturizers on your face if that's a concern for you. But I find that the drying shampoos do do actually give you quite a bit more volume. I don't know, maybe I'm imagining things, I don't think so. They're all formulated and they're all a little bit on the drying side, but the upside is your hair is gonna have more floof and more fluffiness and it really cleans your scalp well and I think that that might be something to do with why it's a bit drying. They are, they're pretty, they're pretty good cleansing power. And if you don't believe me, I have actually made a video before about getting some volume in your hair and a lot of it has to do with making sure your scalp is squeaky clean and even sometimes using a scrub. This is not a scrub, this is just obviously just a shampoo and it doesn't have any bits. I don't wanna imply that it's scrubby in any way, it's not, it's just a regular shampoo. But what I'm saying is like, if you get the scalp clean, you'll have more lift in your roots and your hair will look thicker and fuller around here. So. I think that that's what the connection is all about. So my hair is wet right now. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go about my day a bit and let this air dry, and then we'll check in and see, and then maybe have a look uh, a little bit closer at maybe some of the ingredients and stuff like that after my hair dries. So I will see you when my hair's a little bit more on the air dry side. So I'm just gonna air dry it. Had my breakfast, did my nails, and uh, let my hair completely air dry. I have not put anything in it. This is what it looks like. I haven't even brushed it. This is pretty good volume, as you can see. I didn't put in my Rogaine yet, so you guys, if you follow me on my channel, you know that I use Rogaine. And if you don't, you should follow along with me because I'm gonna be testing these and other hair products. That's sort of one of the specialties of my channel, talking about hair stuff, so please do subscribe. And if you want to enter my giveaway, like I said, scooch on ahead to the end and you're gonna subscribe to be part of that giveaway anyway let's look at some of the ingredients I'm really happy with the volume here and so like I was saying if you want to get volume hundred percent your scalp needs to be really clean once your scalp is really clean you're gonna get much better volume so that's why you'll find a lot of these in my experience anyway these sort of thickening shampoos will do a really good job of cleaning out your scalp but uh, that can come with a bit of a drying effect for the rest of your face. Nothing crazy, right? Just use moisturizer straight after and, and you'll be all good. Or you might not notice it at all, especially if your hair is, or your skin is a little bit on the oilier, on the oilier side. Mine already is kind of dry, but if you don't have, if you have sort of normal or oilier skin, then you won't, that won't even be a problem at all for you. Uh, so anyhow, let's just have a look at some of the ingredients. I'm gonna put them up here and so you can have a look along with me and so I'll just look at some of the materials they sent me that talk about what's in there, what's in the shampoo and conditioner. Promotes thicker looking hair with Anatel, a proprietary complex containing clinically tested ingredients derived from natural sources such as pea sprouts, so that's interesting. Uh, nourishes with biotin, keratin, and zinc. Suitable for everyday use in all hair types including dry, damaged, color treated, fine, and thin hair, so cool. 
Botanical fragrance leaves hair infused with a refreshing scent that lasts. So a word about the scent. I know I've been going on and on about it because for me it's honestly probably one of my top attributes that I'm looking for when I pick a shampoo and also performance. But for me the scent, if it, the scent is not there, I'm not buying it. I don't even care how good it works. It says that it lasts and I feel like it's, it's you know, it's been a couple hours since I used it and um, I'm not smelling it that much. I mean it could be because my nail polish smell is maybe overriding this smell. I don't smell too much. It, it, it's not lingering and it's not heavy, so thumbs up for that. So let's look at the actual shampoo bottle, and I'll just look at the back. And I do not believe this is a sulfate-free shampoo because I'm pretty sure I saw that on there. It says water, yeah, um, ammonium lauryl sulfite, uh, panthenol, perfume. I'm not gonna read all the ingredients because there's a number of them, perfume, but it's also got um, mandarin orange extract, citrus peel extract, and uh, nutmeg oil. So this is some really cool, oh, and patchouli. So must that must have been what I was, patchouli oil. Okay, so that's what's contributing to some of those deeper smells, but it doesn't smell like patchouli. I don't want you at all to think that this is some real hippy dippy smelling stuff. It totally isn't, it smells really nice. So that's the shampoo. So it is a sulfate complaining containing shampoo. I have no problem with that. I will say though, it doesn't lather up a ton, and I don't know if I mentioned this before. It, it lathers up but it's not crazy, so for those of you who don't necessarily want a hugely sudsing shampoo, this is really great. What's in the conditioner, people? Let's have a look. Okay, so I'll be the first to admit that I don't, I'm not like a big ingredient nerd. Some people are well into it. My feeling for, you know, to each their own about what they wanna put on their hair, what they wanna ingest in their bodies, et cetera, and so forth. My own feeling is that for shampoos, I mean, and conditioner, it's not like you're drinking them and it's not like something on your skin that's like a lot, like a moisturizer, for instance, that's on your skin all day, but shampoo, pretty much you wash it out. Conditioner is pretty much you rinse most of it out. And also, your hair is dead. <laughs> it is dead, that's why it doesn't hurt when you cut it. So, I don't know, I'm not too picky about ingredients uh, at all when it comes to shampoos and conditioners, but to each their own. Some people love to use just natural stuff, and that's cool. If you do love completely natural stuff, you're probably not here for this video anyway, so mm, just saying. Okay, so let's move on to the conditioner. Lightweight conditioner promotes the appearance of healthy looking hair growth, so yeah, um, I would agree with that. I feel like my hair looks pretty healthy. Conditions the scalp and promotes thicker lo looking hair with Anatel. So this is the same ingredient that was in the shampoo. A proprietary complex containing clinically tested ingredients derived from natural sources such as pea sprouts. Nourishes with biotin, keratin, and zinc, same as the shampoo. Suitable for everyday use, all hair types. So we talked about that already. Botanical fragrance leaves hair infused with a refreshing scent that lasts. So it sounds like kind of the same kind of formulation as the shampoo. I'm just gonna look at the back of it now and see if there's anything I can see on there. Wait, am I picking up the right thing? Yeah, this is the conditioner. Uh, again, water's the first ingredient, alcohol, uh, and on and on and on. Dimethicone, so that's the silicone to give you that sleekness. Again, with mandarin orange, these are just this is just what's popping up at me. There's like a number of ingredients here. Um, lemon peel, mandarin orange, bitter orange, extracts, citrus orange extract, camphor, lavandula hybrid oil, I think that's the lavender type oil, and nutmeg oil, I mean, cool stuff. It works really well. So let's punch in a bit and uh, have a closer look at my hair and so we'll see what's what, right? What is making it look, I hope that this is picking up. Got some really, really nice volume here and it feels quite soft, so that's nice. I wasn't too sure. You know, I have another one, I will not mention its name, I have another thickening shampoo and it does not leave my hair nearly this soft, so this feels really, really nice. For the price point, I'm happy with it. Back once again, and so I went ahead and smoothed out my hair as best as I could, just to sort of get this a little more smooth looking, and I'm really lucky that I have wavy hair. It has made an enormous difference in making my hair look thicker. I think if my hair was super pin straight, I'd really be struggling a lot more, but one of the reasons my hair looks fuller than it actually is, it actually isn't that full. It just sort of tends to look big, is because it's wavy, but even if your hair isn't wavy, you can put some waves into it, and so I would strongly recommend a tool like this. This is a hot air dryer, and I've had it for years. I had it when my hair was much longer and much thicker, and I've used it so much that I actually don't know the name of it anymore because that rubbed off over the years, but it's still going strong. I must have bought a good quality one because I, I have beaten the heck out of this thing, and it's still going. So I use this to just shape things and sort of smooth things out. What it is is it takes the place of a hair dryer and big round brush combo, because I always like, I'm not that coarse. Coordinated, so I'd never be good at doing the brush and the hair dryer on the back of my own head But this is all a, like a combo tool hot air flies out of it and you've got the rounding effect So this is really good if you have 
thinning really straight hair that you want to volumize. I find this to be an, a really an amazing tool. I wanted to make sure that I gave this shampoo a really good test and the conditioner as well. So as you can see, or maybe you can't tell, but I washed my hair a second time this morning and I just let it air dry and it is a very humid day. So yeah, we've got a lot of volume going on here. I would say actually too much volume. <laughs> I'm gonna try and tone it down a bit, but just thoughts now that I've used it two times. The scent does last. I could really smell it when I was in my car. I don't know if any of you ever experienced that, but I guess because you're just kind of in a closed environment, I could definitely smell it. It smelled nice. It didn't last at all the second day, so um, it doesn't linger. And I washed a second time, and so, you know, everything that I've said previous to this still holds up. I still have the same. My review hasn't really changed. Uh, and you can see I've got really good volume hair. It's also humid. So I'm going to try and tone this down a bit, and then I'm going to give you guys, with a hair dryer and maybe a bit of product, and then I'm going to come back and let you guys know about the giveaway. So yeah, I'm really liking this, and my hair does feel thicker. It does feel thicker and I'd say it looks thicker too. I mean, you can be the judge just given from the beginning. And I do want to say at the very beginning, my hair was straight iron, the peppermint patty hair. That hair was straight ironed. Um, and so this is my hair completely natural, completely air dried, not touched with a product and barely just combed through with my fingers. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty voluminous as you can see. All right, back again. I decided not to work against humidity too much and I didn't do too, too much with my hair. I just used that tool that I was showing you to just sort of smooth it. That's really what that tool is sort of about. About. smooth it out of the way. I did a side sweat bang here. Hopefully it will hold. We shall see. The humidity might get the better of this whole look. So that's what I did. Real simple, easy look with just a part here. Uh, overall, so I've used this now, these two products two times and I can recommend them. I did like them a lot. And guess what? I also have a giveaway. Yay! So for one lucky winner, I'm giving away the Viviscal shampoo and the Viviscal conditioner that you saw me use in this video. I mean, not obviously that particular one, a brand new one for you. A container of topic hair fibers that will be for your hair shade. We will sort that out, not to worry. And also a three month supply of Viviscal supplements. So this is absolutely a great giveaway that I'm super proud to be sharing with you guys. And so this is what you're gonna do if you wanna take part in the giveaway. You're going to read the rules for the contest and that's really important. So I'm gonna link those below in the description box, so be sure to you know read through all of those. This contest is also open to residents of Quebec, which I'm super proud of because in my heart, uh, my second hometown is is Montreal because I lived there for a number of years when I was younger. So I'm just so happy that my friends and people that I don't know from Quebec are able to take part of the in this giveaway. So I need you guys to read those rules before, and they're pretty standard stuff, but just have a look and be sure to read through those. And so I'm gonna give you a chance to enter two times. So the first entry that I would like you guys to take part in if you want to is that you're going to like and subscribe to this channel so that's easy enough and then leave me a comment and so this part is important in the comment I need you to tell me just how to get a hold of you uh, whether that be your Instagram handle or your Twitter handle uh, but if you do win I'm gonna need some sort of way to find you and I know that not everybody uses their actual first and last name and contact information and there's you know in their YouTube blog on stuff so just make sure that you leave me some way that I can get a hold of you if you are the lucky winner and I'm gonna actually give you guys a chance for a bonus entry as well so you can enter not once but two times and this is how you're gonna do that so you've done your first entry which is to like subscribe and if you've already subscribed that's great you don't have to subscribe again obviously because you cannot do that you can only subscribe one time on YouTube but um, so you're gonna do that first entry that I told you which is just the like the subscribe leave me a comment about how to reach you and your bonus entry is this. Okay, I feel that we get very trapped and because I'm gonna give you the rationale behind it. I feel like when you're losing your hair and you're struggling with like thin hair issues, you become very wrapped up in yourself. And so for this second part, the second bonus entry, if you will, I want us to think about other people and something that you can do that's good for somebody else online. And so I want you to just do one small good deed for somebody online. That can mean going on Instagram and giving somebody a like, going to a video somewhere on YouTube and giving that person a like, texting somebody that you haven't texted a while and, in a while and say, hey, how are you doing? I want you to do just one good deed and 
And this is the honor system, so you don't have to tell me what it is. Uh, but I want you to do that good deed. And then I want you to leave me a second comment. And so in that second comment, you can just say, hey, I did my good deed. And then once again, leave me your contact details. So that is not one, but two ways that you can enter this contest. So that will double your chances if you do both of them to win. Okay, I think I've covered everything that I wanted to say, and so I want to wish you guys all the best of luck in the giveaway. More details about how long it's going to be open for, and how long that you'll have if you do win to respond, and also the complete retail value of the giveaway will all be listed in the description. And I really look forward to your comments, and I hope we get lots of entries here. Love that you're here so much. I get so much support, so much, so many great comments that really help me keep going and making this content. And so thank you all so much. If you're not able to enter the giveaway, please just give this a thumbs up and consider subscribing anyway. Love to see you guys. Hope everybody's doing well and um, hugs from me to you. Bye.